Ryan, what the hell? Come on! What about everyone else? Everyone else? We can't do a thing! Let's go! We'll come back later! they find us? I don't know! We gotta get out of here, Ryan! Look, we're not gonna get far with those bastards on our tail. We gotta take them down! Take them down! Others can hear us even if we waste these guys. We're gonna be falling! Well, go then. I'll hold them. What about you? Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Don't have any others. Come on! I'll find us someplace to hide, but you gotta keep them pinned down! Returning hero. Look, I know this was bad. What the hell was that? We lost those regime bastards three days ago at the river. That must be at least 15 miles back. How the hell are we meant to fight these goddamn soldiers if we can't even outrun them? Look, it could have been another patrol. Oh, shut up! It wasn't a different patrol. It was the same one that we fought at the crossing. It is the same one that's gonna blow our brains out of our sleep. You know damn well they're gonna come back for us again and again until we're dead. Oh, I doubt that. Yeah, I shot one in the head, one in the chest, and the third took to the hills. Oh, that's great! So they'll send new patrols that are gonna have the handicap of being exhausted from days of running. This is fucking perfect. Thank Marcus, you. shut up! We didn't rise up against the regime lightly. Look, we all knew this would be dangerous. If you want to go it alone, be my guest. Have a fun time. Good? Okay. First things first, we need to find a place to set up camp. Somebody's right. hidden. Then, we need to get to the nearest town. Get them to understand that if we join forces, we can hold our own against the regime corps. Jessica, you're from around here, right? Yeah. Okay, where's the nearest town? Um, it's about four miles northeast. Um, I used to live there before my family went to the shelters. Look, I'm sorry. Now's the time to focus on making camp, not reminisce about the past, okay? You know this land better than we do. You need to take the lead. Well, four miles. No time to dally.
This looks good, right? Come on, we've been walking all day. The sun's going down. We gotta stop. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is good. This is good. Uh, no fire tonight, though. They probably caught us last time by following that glow. Yeah. That from an old boyfriend? No. My father gave it to me when I was little. He said that if I kept it with me, he'd always be a part of me. Well, where is he now? Did he approve you going into the rebellion, or...? I don't know what he would have thought about all of this. He was shot by the regime in our house. He had come looking to take more money. He had been polishing an old hunting rifle, and... He came to the door with it, thinking it was just the neighbors asking for some food. And as soon as he opened the door, as soon as they saw the gun, coated the doorway in blood. Hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. Don't say sorry. What, what do you mean, don't say sorry? They killed her father in cold blood. I heard what they did, Marcus. My point is, don't apologize for a past you can't change and didn't create. And don't apologize for those butchers. That story is the reason we fight. Because those men call themselves soldiers, but fight like animals. Don't you think we all have stories like that? We are here because we lost the ones we love most. So don't tell me off for not feeling sorry for every goddamn man and woman who's died. People die. It's a tragedy but there's not a damn thing you can do about it. So don't say sorry for what you can't fix. Hey! Cool it, Ryan. He was just trying to comfort Jessica. He didn't mean to offend you. Well, look, we've all lost a lot. And I, I know what you've lost. I'm sorry about your girl, man. I really am. But you can't bring her back. You don't have to take that out on Marcus, though. We're all trying to greet. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, Marcus, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I've just been going through some stuff. Just get your head on straight, man. It, don't flip out on me if I try and help some poor girl out, because you have some fucking mental... Look! I think we all need to take a little bit of time to ourselves. It's been a harsh day. Ryan, can we go talk? You can't keep blowing up on them like that, Ryan. Jessica's slipping away, and Marcus, he's losing it under all the pressure. You've clearly become the leader of our sorry little group. So it's about time you start acting like you can handle yourself. Screw you, I got every right to be pissed. Hey, I never said you didn't. But they're not the ones who need your anger. They don't deserve to have you blowing up on them because you've got some bottled rage that you need to vent. This isn't easy on them. Oh. This isn't easy on them? What? You think this is easy on me? I didn't just lose a father, okay? I lost everything. They left me with nothing. My family, my friends, my neighbors, everyone I loved, gone! How am I meant to react? What, just shrug it off like it's nothing? I can't just forget the life I lost. Look, let them know not to get near me if you must, but I'm still grieving. It has been five months since then, and I've gotten over it. Now what the hell is holding you? I was no one special before this, and don't forget, neither were you. Neither were they. We're all just people here. We're casualties in this war that we still need to fight. It's about time you get over it. I know you were no one back then. I know you might not have cared about anyone in our town, but I did. So don't you dare tell me that they didn't matter. They were my whole life, and now they're gone. I'm glad you can forget so easily, but I can't. I just... I can't. Yeah. I... Hey, you were fine a week ago. It's Rachel, isn't it? The nightmares are back. Every night. I can't get that image out of my head. Man, I'm sorry about your girl. I am. Hey, 
I know you don't think I understand. But I do. I know how much she meant to you. And I wish I could help. I do. But... but there's, there's nothing you can do. You can't bring her back. You can't stop the nightmares. You can't stop the soldiers from murdering her. Forget it. Look. The nightmares will pass. You know, they always do. I just... I don't know what to do anymore. I feel terrible about everything. I just... Tell them I'm sorry, okay? Tell them... I just need some space. Look, look, look. Just... You just need to go on a walk and get your head straight, man. I'll go talk to the rest. Thanks. Thanks. So, what the fuck is his problem? Leave him alone, Marcus. Oh! You don't know what he's going through. Me? Leave him alone? I'm not the one who went some random tangent about not apologizing. Just, Marcus, just drop it. He keeps having nightmares, and you're constantly attacking him. It's not gonna solve anything. Oh, nightmares? Please, nightmares don't excuse a guy for acting like an ass! Okay, you just don't get it, do you? Yeah, I don't. Why don't you They're not it? nightmares. Their memories. When the regime first rose to power, yeah, they started invading the cities. You remember that, right? Well, our town, we fought back. But when a fucking tank rolled down the street, I grabbed Ryan and I ran. We ran together until we couldn't hear the sounds of the fighting and the death. And well, we returned the next day. And it was like a scene from an old war movie. Houses were reduced to rubble and walls. The dead were... Well, Ryan, he couldn't hack it. He ran. And when I finally caught up to him, he was back at his house. Or what was left of it. With his family. Or what was left of them. Like it... Everything went up in some sort of explosion. And... He was just rocking back and forth with a body in his arms. A body? Yeah. What body? An old girlfriend. She had bullet holes up her back. She had... Her eyes just kind of stared up, blank, like windows without the lights on. Yeah, I get it. That guy's nuts. He's suicidal. And he's not going to stop until all the regimes turn into bodies. And it's going to get us all killed. Don't forget he saved you. He didn't- Hey, show some respect. He didn't save me. I was an excuse. I saw how he shot and killed every last soldier that was crawling and begging for mercy. He didn't do it for me. He did it because he's a monster. He's got a bloodlust for vengeance. And his quest for revenge is going to get us all killed. He saved your worthless life. Show some fucking respect. He isn't gonna do anything stupid just to get a few kills. He is psychotic. That dead girl of his has made him a killer. And I doubt he cares who he loses along the way to kill every last one of them. You know what? You know what I think we should do? We should rope him, we should tie him up, and we should just give him to the patrol and say we found him with the guns and he tried to get us to kill the regime with him. Then we can just go back to our lives and end the charade. You are a sick fucking coward. You know that? Ryan saves his life and defends this group time and time again from attacking patrols. And you would just tie him up and turn him in to save your own skin? You're fucking pathetic.
Um, no, I was thinking alone, and uh, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry to all of you. Um, I know uh, that I haven't been the best guy, um, and I know that my my problems shouldn't be yours. Um, I just I haven't been sleeping well recently, and I think that we're getting on each other's nerves. Um, I think we should just start fresh, okay? You know, I'll try to keep my issues to myself, and we'll all just try to keep level heads, okay? And Jessica, I am sorry, okay? I am so sorry about your dad and that I yelled. I just feel awful. Can you forgive me? Yeah, it's okay. I know it's been hard for all of us, especially after a patrol finding us. I know you didn't mean anything by it. Look, I say from here, we'll just go get a good night's sleep the best we can. And we'll just take, the, take tomorrow as it comes to us. First watch. I got it. Patrol's coming. We gotta go. Okay. Like Let's others. get Delta. Move quietly, slowly. Camp set up. Found them! Ambush! Go! Fuck no! I got one! Don't go! Go to hell! No, we have to keep going. No, we have to go back. They need us. We've got the guns and we abandoned them. This is just like in the uprising. Stop, Ryan. We did everything that we could. We did what we had to do to survive. We have to keep going. There were at least two soldiers then. And who knows how many have come since then. If Jessica had any smarts, she'd fly like we did. We have to see what happened. Look, I'm going back with or without you. You coming? Fine, but it's on your head! Check their bodies. What? I said, search them. Look for anything we can use. I don't know, a lighter, some ammunition, whatever. They're dead! Have some respect! Listen. 
there are soldiers in this forest hunting us down with plenty of supplies. These two are dead. They don't need their belongings anymore. We do. I'll search her if you want, but you search Marcus. What's that? This is my respect. I keep this and my fight is for her. Get what you can, let's go. Thomas! 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 Thomas!